what's up sweet beautiful people welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by and if you're not new here thank you even more for returning this is gonna be one of my favorite videos I can absolutely tell I've been getting so many compliments you guys on my locks lately when I'm out in public and one of the beautiful members of this community here on YouTube actually reached out and asked what color she should dye her locks so I took that as a sign because she's not the first to ask but she definitely inspired me to do this video I've had it in my catalog for such a long time of videos to make and since she asked and I've been getting so many compliments, I decided to go ahead and make this video. So let's jump in with some frequently asked questions and then I'll share a few ways that you can decide what color you should dye your locks. So the first frequently asked question I get is when to dye my locks. When can I dye my locks? So you have a couple of options here, actually. You can dye your hair before you actually start your locks, or you can wait about a year until your locks are fully mature to go ahead and dye your locks. So if you are thinking about getting locks but you haven't decided yet, you can go ahead and dye your hair before you get your starter locks going or you can wait until your locks are fully mature. So it's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Remember, in this community, we always say, this is your journey, you can do what you want. The next frequently asked question that I get is, how often can you dye your locks? Now, once you're happy with the shade, you'll only need to color the roots from that point moving forward. So this could be done every few months or however often you think you need to dye them. I chose to wait until my locks were fully matured before I played with color a bit. I get color about every two to three months or so. So yeah. <laughs> so I'll be getting my roots colored um, before we go back to the university in a couple of weeks. And now that I've found the shade that I like, I only have to worry about my roots. So that's really exciting. And if you guys wanna see that video of me getting a color touch up on my roots, let me know in the comments below because I would love to film that for you. The next frequently asked question that I get is, do I have to bleach my hair first? And the answer is absolutely not. You don't have to bleach your locks first in order for, the, for you to dye them. So um, you don't have to use bleach in order for the color to take, but most dyes actually do have bleach in them. So be on the lookout for that. Just know that you can dye your locks and achieve the color you want without going the bleach blonde color first. It just may take up to a couple of rounds to get the color you want. The next frequently asked question that I get is, does lock color change the texture of your hair? Yes, it does. My locks are much softer, at least in my mind. They were much more coarse when I started, um, but they actually feel much softer to the touch now. So um, my texture changed a bit, at least in my mind. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real thing, but it changed in my mind. Um, so yeah, so those are some of the frequently asked questions that I get and now I'm going to jump into a little bit of color theory and how you can decide what color to choose for your locks. The first thing you want to do is decide on a subtle versus dramatic look. What's the goal? What are you drawn to? Are you trying to make a statement or are you more interested in staying low key? The second thing that's gonna help you decide is to check your skin tone and undertones for the best match. Warm undertones may like a warmer shade, a richer, vibrant, deep color, as opposed to a pale shade or a cool color. Cooler undertones can pull off less vibrant colors. And what I'm doing here is kind of using color theory that you often hear in fashion and I'm applying that to locks. So warm shades and undertones typically look better on people who have 
warmer skin tones, at least in my opinion, completely my opinion. Feel free to disagree, respectfully. <laughs> but cooler undertones typically look better um, with a less vibrant shade, um, a color that's not as warm. Now the third thing you wanna do after you play around with lock theory or color theory unlocks is look at pictures and videos to see what you're drawn to. I have a Pinterest board with so much lock inspiration, so take some time to get inspired and have fun, you guys. Most importantly, have fun. Color is such a fun thing to play with. The last thing you wanna do is test out the color. So once you have the colors that you like, you might wanna start with the tips of your locks. So you don't necessarily have to color the full head like I did when I first got locked. Maybe see how you like the color before doing the full head, and that's actually the color that's actually the advice my lactician gave me on color regarding how to decide what color to choose. She told me I could do the tips first, but I was so excited to play with color that I wanted to do a full head and just kind of be a little dramatic and subtle at the same time. So I went with a warm copper color because my skin tone is pretty warm. My undertones are pretty warm, kind of like a yellow gold undertone. So. Yeah, so I went with something that was warm and and inviting. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the tips that I have for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you decide what color you wanna play around with. And if it did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers in this community and I have you to thank. This community is filled with so much love and you guys make it so much better. So I, I receive all the love and I try to send it back to you. Um, I love you so much for being here. Let's get to 10,000. And when we do, we'll figure out how we wanna celebrate. All right, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay well, and stay locked.